Hi, I'm Tash from Heart and Design. Here on my channel, I hope to provide a safe space for everyone to learn art, no matter what stage you are at. I appreciate you so much for clicking through to my video and welcome to the Heart Tribe. Please subscribe and YouTube, like, comment, or even share if you haven't already. You need some drawing paper. I'm doing small illustrations so that I can keep the videos short um, because colouring pencils can take a long time to do. So, um, yeah, so you can always do it bigger. Uh, you'll need a pencil and rubber to do that. You'll need the actual image either if you are subscribing, download your sheets, you'll see when, when you do actually get your sheets, you'll see a step by step process of what to do. And it's really good practice and you can watch it along with the video. Um, these, this one and the, there's, a, there's another nine, nine um, tutorials on there. It's a summer theme ranged. So uh, take a look there. They are for complete beginners. The first time you're picking up a pencil. Um, kind of thing and then we'll move on to more advanced and you can work your way through and it'd be really nice to see your progress in the comments and if you have any questions please ask if there's anything I've missed as I've gone along um, it's highly likely so we're going to do this pineapple we will do more shading than what there is on there this was just um, I wanted to keep it simple for the step-by-step -step sheets that I've created so we're going to go in now and um, color now for that you can just use what you've got to be honest just use what you've got don't worry about going out and getting a big pack of pencils if it's not in your budget just wait until you've decided that coloring pencils is your thing it might be that you watch the watercolor and prefer that so what i suggest you do is watch the videos and think which medium you like the best and then and then that's what you can go and buy and i would always start off with an inexpensive set so that you can get a feel for it um, i would say don't give up keep going because sometimes it's, it's really difficult in the beginning and you just want to throw everything away and say i'm rubbish i can't do it but it's not true you're just learning keep going all right just keep going and you will get there okay and i will help you get there you just need to um follow my tutorials all the way through and you will get there okay so choose some greens if you've got some green the lighter and the darker if you can if not just one um, we need some lighter oranges for those sections there so I've chosen a lighter and a darker for there so I can get some shading in and some darker oranges for the second bit so I'm going to just do the lighter oranges first of all it's kind of um, actually it's those two it's kind of um, like a mustard yellow but it doesn't have to be look I haven't done enough zigzags haven't done enough zigzags how dare I okay let's go in and do some more obviously didn't feel like it okay so what we need is to first of all we're just going to go in and do one layer with colored pencil we're just going to get our first layer down I'm working in circles holding the pencil about halfway up so I've got a bit of control but also it's still quite loose so I'm going to go in and do all those there we are okay going in so I'm just turning my pencil as well because what that does is stops you from getting one flat edge of the pencil and then the pigment stops coming off but then you're also you're wasting your pencil okay so I'm then going to go in a little bit with the darker orange in the points of the pineapple just to give it as you can see a little bit of shading okay you don't need to be too precise about it it's just a fun activity please don't put pressure on yourself to get it right just do what you want to do as long as you're learning the tools as you go along you can kind of unlearn them and then do your own thing <laughs> so i'm going in you can see that there's a slightly different color there 
it's always good to have the different values so it's basically they're all oranges but they're in varying value of orange really one's much darker than the other right so now we're going to go and do the darker orange so I've got for this one again a lighter and a darker version this is the lighter version just get in the first layer down don't worry about being perfect because we'll go in with a second layer and that's when we do make it perfect okay well not perfect I don't think anything is ever perfect but that's when we make it how we want it okay and then I'm going to get the darker orange and come in and kind of create some darker areas to try and make it look more like a 3d pineapple okay there's no detail on this this is a beginner so as we go further along we can do a real pineapple yeah we, we will start to actually sketch rather than do a flat illustration of these objects that we're drawing but in more detail right so one thing you will also need is a blender pencil um, you can get them online quite easily they are quite inexpensive so if you can get look my cat stewed it they love the end of pencils they're a nightmare <laughs> so i'm going to go in and what this does as you can see is it softens out the pigment pushes it into the paper and um, just gives it a nice smooth effect of one colour rather than patchiness yeah so it becomes a nice illustration hopefully you can see that on the screen so a blender pencil makes a difference you can do this with your coloured pencils by just pressing hard but by doing that you are then wasting pencil and art supplies can be expensive so if you have a blender pencil or, or you know try and invest in one cat if you can it will save you money in the long run okay going round good there we are so now I'm going in with Uh, the lighter green like I have with everything else and we'll do the stalks so remember you don't need to be perfect you can't really do circles on this but I recommend you going with the shape of the stalk that's sticking out so yeah run with that keep going with the shape because that will give you a bit of 3d-ness now if we were doing really accurate drawings i will be drawing the spikes that are coming out in front so if you want to try and do that you can but for the moment i'm keeping it green i'm keeping it simple for you guys because you have if you're watching this you're probably on the start of your journey right coming in with a slightly darker green i'm going to do that just in various places where i think it would look good where I think there might be a bit of darkness and then again that gives it a bit more of a 3d feel okay blender pencil again going in and just pushing the pigments into each other that's kind of quite nice hasn't it okay So now I'm going to go back and do a second layer. I'm not too bothered about a second layer on the green. I quite like how that's come out. So I'm going to go back now in and do another layer of the pineapple because I feel as though the, the, there's still quite a lot of white of paper and I want to change that. So I'm putting a bit of shade underneath where the stalks are because that would be realistic to think where the stalks are on top of the pineapple underneath there would be a bit of shade so 
going to give it that kind of feel. I'm not being too fussy about it. Um, and a little bit in between those Vs. Okay. And then I'm going to come down here and just do the same. A little bit darker there. We kind of want the different sections to kind of mix into each other. So, there. Let's darken that up a bit more. Now I'm going to go into this next one. We're going to do the green, the green, the darker orange. There we are. But then what I'm going to do to make it pop is I'm going to come in quite heavily now with its dark, this darker orange. And it really will make it pop. I'm talking really quietly today. I'm not sure why that's happening. I think it's because my son is still in bed. Summer holidays. He's lying in. <laughs> why not? Why not while he's young before he has to get up and go to work all day? Right, so going in. This can be quite dark around here because it's the bottom. And I'm going to get the dark green and I'm really going to push those bits in there. Yeah, I like that. That's quite nice. Okay, so you can leave it like that. Or what you can do is get your normal drawing pencil that you would have drawn it with and you can go over and you can kind of outline the outside where you've drawn and make it darker. Or you can do what I'm going to do, get yourself a liner pen and go over it. Either way is fine. I mean we've made it using, because we, it's a simple matter of using two different shades of the colour in each section, we've already given it a sketchy feel. So it, even even though we've not drawn it like a real pineapple it's still got that depth and 3d-ness but it is an illustration so i'm going to go in and and i'm going to make that edge a bit that's it and then i'm going to come back in it's down to your personal choice you know if you're doing this in your own sketchbook or your own art book of some kind scrapbook sketchbook whatever um then you do it how you want to do it you don't have to do what i'm doing okay it's just meant to be a quick fun activity it's really good for mindfulness as well just a nice simple activity what it does is just take your brain off reality who wants to live in reality hey <laughs> okay so there you go there's our pineapple i hope you enjoyed that and hopefully we'll see you in the next video as i say please subscribe like comment share that will help other beginner artists be able to see me and join in with the fun and um would really help me to get grown as i'm only early days please visit my website heartanddesign.org.uk where you can access these sheets for a small monthly fee and all the ones in the future as well as all of the videos some videos will be available on youtube for free but not all okay thanks very much everyone and i'll see you next time